Buenas noches. Buenas noches. ¿Cómo están? Good evening. Good evening. Muy bien. Muy bien. Qué bueno. Vaya, vamos a hacer espera un minuto para que se agreguen los demás. Vaya, mientras se agregan los demás, recuerden siempre eh, tener el micrófono desconectado, desactivado. Ok. Vamos a dar inicio en este momento. Uh, do you remember what was yesterday's topic? Use the one and ones. Okay, the use of one and one. And adjective, this, this, that, and those. Demonstrative pronouns. This, that, and those. Uh, when do we use this? This is for singular and near. Near things, yes. David, when do we use those? Use in the plural in... Cuando está un poco más alejado, creo. When the objects are far away. Far away, okay. Yes. Samuel, when do we use these? Hola. These. No, no, no logro escuchar bien. No me, no me he conectado de todo bien. Ah, okay. Hola. When do we use the demonstrative pronoun these? No, no, no. Tengo It, problema con el audio. It's okay. Alexandra, when do we use these? Is for singular. Mm -hmm. And the objects are near. Uh, these, that is for plurals. Ah, when sorry, the objects plural. are, are near. near. Yes. Yes. Uh, Brenda, when do we use that? That you is used when I use singular. Mm -hmm. And uh, is cerca. When the object is near. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys. Yeah, that's the use of the demonstrative pronouns. Thank you for your participations. And remember to keep your cameras on. Uh, Edwin, Francisco, Maria Santos, please turn your cameras on. Thank you. I'm going to share my computer screen because we are going to start with a new topic and that topic is going to help you in order to complete the exercises on the platform. So once you can see the computer screen, just let me know, please. If you can see it, let me know. I think it's loading. Not yet. Not yet? Yes. OK. All right. Yes, I can see that. Okay. Great. Now, uh, let me go ahead and share with you the website. I think it's loading. Let's see, Edwin says my camera is not working. Okay, Edwin, thank you for letting me know. In the meantime, I'm going to share with you 
the computers, I mean, the website, and I need a volunteer. Let's see, who wants to read the objectives for today's lesson? Any volunteer? I want to read. Can I try? Okay. Let me just check something. Yes, the lesson 3.5. Okay, go ahead, please. And this lesson. Okay, volunteer. I want to try. Thank you. In this lesson, participants will will to listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. In this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. I said before that pronunciation is really important, guys, in order for you to sound more native. If you practice your pronunciation, your English is going to sound clearly, naturally, and you are going to sound more native. Let me go ahead and play the, the audio or the video. Once you can see it, let me know, please. Hello to all of you. I want you to pay attention to the stress given to the important words when speaking. Can you listen to the audio? Yes. In this lesson, participants will listen yes, to the stress in order to improve Thank pronunciation. You. Sentence stress. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. Practice as many times as needed. Okay, thank you. Let's move to the conversation because I sent that conversation before. And I need somebody else to read this one, this part. Let's see. I want to listen to Ephemer. Please read the objective, the lesson objective. Ephemer. Hello, hello, can you hear me? I can, yes, thank you. Yeah. yeah. I will listen to the conversation. I will be introduced to compare. What is the pronunciation? Comparison. Comparison with adjectives by expressing preference. And this, I'm going to read it for you because your microphone is not working properly. It says, in this, in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Okay. Now, let's see, uh, I sent you a conversation or a dialogue to the WhatsApp group. This is the same conversation that you are going to listen to right now, and we're going to practice in pairs. Pay attention, please. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Okay, excellent. Now, uh, let me go ahead and stop recording. I'm sorry, stop sharing. And you are going to follow the same conversation. I sent you that screenshot to the WhatsApp group so I need two volunteers, Francisco Baldomar and Kevin Alexander. Uh, please turn your cameras on. Uh, let's see. 
I have Norma and I also have Sylvia. Do you have the conversation ready? Ready. Are you ready, Norma? Yes. Okay, one, two, three, go. Look, this jacket are really, 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 really nice. Which one do you prefer? Which one prefer. do you prefer? Prefer. Lady wall on better. The wall one, one, why? It's lots warmer. It looks warmer. Well, I like the letter one better. It's more. What is? Stylish. 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 Then the wolf one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is the this jacket? It's four hundred ninety-nine. Well, you like to try it on? Would you like to try it on? Try. Oh no, that that's okay. But thank you. Anyway, you're welcome. Thank you. An applause. Yay. Applause for both of them. Now let's see. David and Luis. Do you have the, the conversation ready? David and Luis? Yes, teacher. Okay, one, two, yes. three, go. Um, and me? No. Uh, you gonna start. Okay. <clears throat> Look, these checkers are really nice. Which one do you do 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 you prefer? I like I like the wall the wall one better. The the wall one, why? It's look warmer, warmer. Well, I like the letter one better. It is more stylish than the wool one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much in this jacket? It's four ninety nine or four thousand ninety nine. How do you say this, teacher? 499. 499. Would you like to try it on? Oh, no, that that is okay, but thanks anyway. Would you like to try it no, on? Oh, no, that is okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Thank you. Now, Adriana and Geraldine, do you have the picture ready? The conversation ready? Yes. Okay, one, two, three, go. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one very. The wool one, why? It looks warm. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wall one. Um, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Oh, no, thanks. Okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Excellent. Would you like to try it on? Okay, two more volunteers. Okay, Samuel, another one. Other volunteer, 
besides Samuel, Samuel and Alexandra. Okay. Me start? Yes. Do you have the conversations okay. ready? Yes. Yeah. One, two, three, go. Okay. Alejandra, look this jacket are really, are really nice. Which one do which one do you prefer? I which like the gold one. I like the gold one better. The gold one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather or the I like the leather one better. It's more sealish than the wool one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me? How much is this jacket? It's um, $499. Would you like to try it all? Oh, no. Thanks. Okay, but That's thanks okay. anyway. That's okay. Excellent. Ah, you're welcome. Excellent. Okay, guys. Now, let me go ahead and share my computer screen because we need to complete an exercise online. And then we're going to continue with the grammar part. Let's see. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. We're going to check the knowledge. It's a knowledge, I'm sorry, knowledge check. Instructions. Look at the following pictures. What are these things made of? Identify each one. Use the words from the list. Okay. And there you have, it says, what are these things made of? Identify each one. Use the words from the list. So there you have cotton, rubber, gold, silk, leather, silver, plastic, and wool. Okay, uh, let's see. Number one, try to, what you are going to do, what you are going to use, guys, is the vocabulary that you can see here. If your microphone is on, please turn it off. Here you have the vocabulary. Let me go ahead and move it a little bit. Just give me one minute. Okay. Here you have the vocabulary. Clear? And you need to use this vocabulary. Is it clear? Is it clear or not clear, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay. Awesome. So there you have the first example. And here on the first example, it says a plastic bracelet. A plastic bracelet. So that's the material, the plastic one. Right? Okay. Now, uh, for the number one, we already uh, have it, right? Um, a plastic. 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 Plastic, plastic bracelet. Thank you. So, David, con continue with the number two. Look at the ring. What is the ring made of? Is that okay. silver or is that gold? Is that gold? Okay. A uh, gold ring. A gold gold ring. ring. Thank you. Okay, so let's see, Hector. Number three. What is the tie made of? Uh, silk silk tie. Silk. Are you sure? Silk tie. Yeah. A silk tie. Okay. Thank you. Number four, what are the socks made of, Andrea? Oh. 
you can say they are made of wool. Wool. Okay. Your answer will be it is made of. It is made of. Made of. Clear? Okay. Number number five. Let's see, Kevin. Uh, a leather jacket. Okay. Thank you. A leather. Let me see the spelling for leather. Okay. A leather jacket. Thank you. Samuel, what is the shirt made of? Okay. Uh huh. Cotton. Cotton. It is made it is of cotton. Oh, oh, oh. cotton. Okay. Thank you. Geraldine, what are the, I think those are earrings. What are the earrings made of? A silver, a silver. They are made of silver. Okay, the plata. And the last one, boots. Andrea. What are the boots made of? Andrea? No sé cómo se pronuncia rubber. Rubber. Uh -huh. They are made of rubber. Okay, let's check. Yay! Look at the example. Is it clear? Questions? Do you have questions, guys, or no questions at all? No questions. Okay. Thank you. Norma says I'm going to move for five minutes. It's okay, Norma. All right. Now let's move to the next lesson. And it says by the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Comparative adjectives. That's going to be the main topic for today's lesson. I'm going to stop sharing. For comparative adjectives, guys, I want you to look the chat. And I want you to tell me first all the short adjectives that you know. Short adjectives. Okay? I want you to type the, the, the adjectives on the chat. Please go ahead. Short adjectives. Short adjectives. You can use the chat. Everybody. Okay. Kevin says small. Thank you. Uh, Kevin. Uh, Norma says big. Sylvia tall. Hector big. Ephemer ugly. Okay. Uh, Edwin, funny, Brenda, tall, short, big, small. Uh, okay, give me more uh, um, short adjectives. Norma says sheep, Geraldine, stingy, Hector, bore, boring. Okay, short adjectives, okay. Geraldine says lazy. Brenda says funny, cheap, ugly. Maria says crazy. Okay. Now, I want you to describe yourself using one adjective. Samuel, what adjective will describe yourself? Sandra says nice. Oh. Patricia, long. And Geraldine, chai. Uh huh. Paul. Huh? No, no, uh, I repeat. What adjective will describe yourself? 
what uh, or what adjective? Oh, Hector says conservative. Brenda says funny. What adjective describe you? What adjective describe you? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Eugenio says pretty. Okay. Yo. What adjective describe you guys? Aha, uh -huh, someone. Young. Huh? Young. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. Efember, what adjective describe you? In my case, sometimes, well, not sometimes, all the time, impatient. <laughs> I don't like to I don't like to make big lines. If I go to the bank, I hate going to the bank. I don't I can wait just 15 or 30 minutes. So Catherine says I'm small and young. I'm short and young. Sandra says I'm serious. Okay. Impatient. That's me. <laughs> If I go to a restaurant, I can wait just 15 or 30 minutes. Alexandra says thin. Okay, Edwin says that he's tall. How tall are you, Edwin? How tall are you? Edwin, how tall are you? Adriana says, angry <laughs> that describe her <laughs> geraldine says that she is thin and talkative edwin says i'm tall edwin how tall are you ¿Qué tan alto eres? silvia says that she is curious anna says that she's patient she's the opposite Oh yeah, you are very tall. 188, okay. All right. Jenny says that she is friendly. Excellent. Okay. So you already know about the adjectives. Great. Now, since you, Luis says ugly. <laughs> Come on, Luis. Okay, Hector says, He's taller than me. Okay, we're going to see those expressions. Uh, what's the opposite of social? The opposite of social, Anna, is uh, introverted. Extroverted is a social person, but introverted is the opposite. Thank you, Hector, introvert. Introverted. Excellent. Okay. Let's see, Anna says, thanks. All right, now guys, I want you to type all the long adjectives, long adjectives, adjectives on the chat. Go to the chat and type long adjectives. All the long adjectives that you know, just long adjectives. Interesting. Modern, David says modern. Edwin, interesting. Catherine, beautiful. Samuel says awesome. Kevin says intelligent. Sylvia, generous. Francisco, expensive and generous. Anna says hardworking. Okay, Norma says generous. Brenda, intelligent, comfortable, hardworking. Alexandra says helpful. Linda, I'm sorry, Lydia says intelligent. Ephemer says delicious, okay. All right, awesome. Thank you guys. Pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? Uh, Brenda says beautiful. All right, awesome. Uh, David says, awesome. Okay. Thank you guys for sharing the short 
and long adjectives. Now, let me go ahead and share my computer screen one more time. You'll be able to see a list of short and long adjectives. As you see, you were totally right. So all the adjectives you gave me, those are perfect. Okay, so here you have short adjectives, short adjectives. Okay, let's focus on the short adjectives. Let's see, Brenda, read the first one. Uh, only one or all? One. Okay, tall. Okay, Geraldine, next. Short. Okay, Luis, next. Kevin, next. Big. Miguel, next. Small. Kevin, next. Oh. Eugene, next. John. Sylvia, next. Ugly. Ugly. Alexandra, Ugly. next. Chip. Kevin, next. Funny. Excellent. Okay, and we also have long adjectives. We also have long adjectives. And the adjectives you were giving me are the right ones. Okay, so uh, David, next. Intelligent. Norma, next. Help, helpful. 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 Okay, uh, Jenny, next. Expensive. No, next. Um, Leilan, next. Speak. Uh, beautiful. Hector, next. Expensive. Catherine, next. Comfortable. Comfortable. Maria, next. Alejandro, next. Modern. 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 Lydia, next. Interesting. 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 Alexandra, next. Hard working? Yes. Adriana, next. Generous. Generous. Generous, generous. Okay, excellent. Okay, now guys, what I want you to do, I want you to take notes about the rules. Since you have short adjectives and long adjectives, there are some rules. The first rule, look at the first rule. I asked you to write this information about the comparative adjectives before the class start. There you have the comparative adjective, you also have the form, and you also have the example. Okay, the first rule, if the adjective has one syllable, the adjective plus, ER, for example, you have tall plus ER is taller, correct? Is it clear? Yes. It's a clear. Yes, clear. Yeah. Awesome. You have two syllables, adjectives ending in letter Y. What do we do? We change the letter Y to letter I, and we're going to add ER. Example, happy becomes happier. 
Look, you eliminate the letter Y and you are going to add IER, happier. Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. Okay, I want you to give me other adjectives using the second rule. Smart. No. <laughs> Sorry? Funny. 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 Funnier, crazy, crazier. Angry. Angry, angrier. Excellent. Boy. Sorry. Boy. Ugly. Ugly, uglier. Excellent. Strong. Sorry. A strong. No. No. Remember that the, the adjective needs to end with letter Y. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Heavy. Heavy, heavier. Yeah. And those should be just short adjectives. Okay. Well, actually short. Yeah, short adjectives. No long adjectives, short adjectives. And you also have two syllables, adjectives that don't end with letter Y. So with two syllable adjectives, you are going to say more. So for example, you are going to say more famous, more, more what? More famous. More famous, and you also have some other example I gave you before. More intelligent. Okay, look at this example. More intelligent, aha. Uh -huh. What else? More beautiful. More beautiful. More expensive. More expensive. More, expensive. More, More comfortable. More interesting. More okay. popular. More popular, excellent. More important. More important, more important. Questions, guys? Do you have questions or no questions? I don't have it. At all, excellent. Okay, there you have the rules. And those are really simple. You just, you just need to take them into consideration, okay? You just need to take the rules into consideration. And if you take the rules into account, everything is going to be fine. Okay, now let's see. Okay, so there you have the number one, read the first example, please, David. Okay. And mm -hmm. in, in the one. Number one, yes. Okay. She is for, pardon. <clears throat> she is for bolder that one would imagine. Than yes, one correct. would imagine. That Alejandro, thank you. Alejandro, number two. It's much better than have the other children. He's much brighter than all the other children. Adriana, number three. He's in the sea calmer than the other day. Isn't the sea calmer than the other day? Remember intonation. Catherine, number four. Emma can run faster than... Oliva, Olivia, sorry. Hector, number five. Sophia's hair is thicker than mine. Teacher, what means thicker or thicker? Thicker, thicker than mine. What okay. mean that, that word? Okay, like this 
and this. Do you see? Like a book. One book can be this, and the other one can be thicker. Okay, thank you. Okay. Más, eh, menos grueso. Okay. Kevin, eh, continue with the number okay. six. Okay. Victoria is, is slower than most animals. Okay. Thank you. Continue. Eh, Brenda, number seven. Chili peppers are spicier than bell peppers. Thank you. Geraldine, continue. These slippers are cheaper than green ones. Than green ones. Than the green ones. Okay, continue. Alexandra. The slippers are cheaper than, ah, oh, sorry. The little boy is nowhere than his sister. Thank you. Eugenio. Continue. Drawing is easier for James than writing. Than writing. Maria Santos. Maria Santos Lopez. La oncera, verdad, teacher? Yes. Uh, Ro Rohan was uh, even a read the uh, angrier. Angrier that I had hope. Hope. Norma, continue. Twelve. Yo young bears are duller. Young birds are duller and black. And lack the real homes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, continue with the 13. Uh, Leyland. False friends are wor worse than bitter enemies. Bitter enemies. Francisco. Yes. Uh huh. Continue. Number fourteen. William's car is much bigger than May. William's car is much bigger than mine. Okay, Ana Flores. Continue. The black dog is smaller than the brown dog. Thank you. Number sixteen, Hector. Uh, um, I can see it. Sandra Elizabeth, 16. Emilia is nicer than brother Henry. Than her brother Henry. Catherine, 17. Samuel is taller than all his brothers. Sylvia Stair, 18. Rabbits are more common than tiger. Okay, Patricia Lisset. 19. This butterfly is more colorful than, than that one. This butterfly is more colorful than that one. Lydia. 20. This task is more difficult than the previous one. Than the previous one. Efember, continue. The, the Jange River is longer than the Yamuna River. Yamuna River. Okay, Norma Leticia, 22. Norma? Keep here. Um, to, to, you kick, kitchen mm -hmm. is drier. Drier. 
derrier than your bathroom. bathroom. Okay. There is a little Samuel right there. <laughs> okay, thank you. They will learn. He's learning as well. Oh, little Samuel. <laughs> How old is your, your son, Samuel? He four older, four older. He is four years old. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. He's four years old. Okay. Continue with the 23, please, Samuel. 23. 23. Yes. Mm -hmm. He is more intelligent than his sister Anna. Thank you. David, continue. Okay, teacher. The men are taller than the women. Thank you. Hector, continue. And what number? 25. iPhone is more expensive than any other phone. Thank you. Anna Flores, continue. 26. Ruby is more beautiful than her sister. Catherine. She is more intelligent than his mother. Okay, Francisco. Here. 28. 28. Um, my laptop is more expensive than yours. Than yours, Eugenio, 29. Uh, this blue dress is pretty than the pink one. Thank you, Maria Santos Lopez, the last one. Alexandra Jamilev, number 30. She is smarter than any other student or of her class. Excellent. Questions, guys? Do you have questions? No questions at all? Is it understandable? Is it clear? Yes. Of course. Now, let me go ahead and share with you the computer screen. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, I can see it. Awesome. Awesome. Now, preferences, comparison with adjectives. Take notes, please. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form 
and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in a discussion box. Okay. So we're going to write them down later. In the meantime, before letting you go, I want you, it says, the instructions. Uh, Samuel, can you please read the structure, the, the instructions? Yes. Look at the picture below and complete the following. Exercise Exercises. using comparative. Okay, exercise using comparative adjectives. Okay. Okay, now let's see. Uh, Andrea, complete the first sentence, please. The first one. Which dress is prettier, the yellow one or the green one? Okay, which dress is prettier, the yellow one or the green one? Okay. Next, Alexandra. Well, the green one is silk, and silk is more expensive than polyester. Okay. Continue, Kevin. Okay. Is the blue t-shirt uh, larger than the red uh, white one? Is the blue t-shirt larger than the red than the red and white one? Okay, next, let's see, uh, Geraldine. No, the red and white one is bigger. Okay, it's bigger, thank you. And let's see, continue please, Luis, Miguel. Okay, look at uh, these, look at these pants. Which one do you like better? Uh-huh. And the last one, who wants to complete the last one? Me teacher. Thank you. I prefer the green curtain ones. They are more stylish than the wool ones. Hello? They are more stylish than the wool ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let me see your answers. Okay. Excellent. Nice. Nice. 100. I'm going to stop sharing. An applause for everybody because you had done a great job. You have done a great job. Excellent. An applause. Great, guys. That was awesome. Questions? No questions? Yes, teacher. Uh, yeah. When I say uh, bigger, mm -hmm. the signification in Spanish is grandote. The meaning. Except no signification. It doesn't exist. It does. The meaning in Spanish, for example, um, let me see. Uh, let me give you one example. You have two children, right? This children is Samuel. And I'm sorry, this child is Samuel. And okay. this child is Miguel. Okay. So who is taller? Taller is Samuel. Samuel, right? Yes. Okay. So let's say you have two houses, house number one and house number two. What house is bigger? House number one. Okay. Um, let's see. Yes, is when you say, Ooh. for example, this hamburger is big, the number one, but the second one, 
is bigger. Is it clear? Yes, yes, I, I clear. I, 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 <laughs> mi pregunta era solo para saberlo en español. Mm, ah, ok. Tenés grande, el más grande. Ah, o okay. Grande, más grande, perdón. Ah, ok. Yeah, it's clear. Tall, taller. Alto, más alto. Ok. Ok, guys, you also have um, irregular adjectives. For example, there is one uh, irregular adjective. Good, you don't say gooder. You say better. Thank you. Thank you, Samuel. Good, you don't say gooder. You say better. Okay. So, bad, you don't say bother, you say worse. worse. Okay, is it clear? What other irregular adjective can you think of? Irregular adjectives. What other can you give me? Another example for irregular adjectives. What about evil? Which one? Evil. How do you spell Malvado. it? Mm -hmm. E -V -E -L. Evil. Evil. I will say that yeah. is more evil. Mm -hmm. In that evil. case, that oh. will, that's not a, an irregular adjective, but I want you to give me irregular adjectives. Examples, irregular adjectives. For example, teacher O uh, is older. Uh, is that an irregular adjective? Are you sure? I'm not sure. No, it's not an irregular adjective. Hello, teacher. Yes. Um, uh, new? Okay. ¿Cómo sería esa palabra? New. Newer. Newer. Okay. Yeah. So, for example, what is the comparative for many? More. Thank oh. you. That is another irregular adjective. That is another irregular adjective. What is the, comparis the comparison for little? Yes. Little? More. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. More. Okay. Thank you, guys. Give me other ones, please. Do you have... Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. Old is not an irregular adjective. Little is less. Thank you. And good? Good is the regular for, I mean, the comparative for good? Better. Better. Excellent. Far? Far. Much. Mm -hmm. no. Far, what's the regular adjective for far? Farther. Old, you can say old, older, or the regular for old will be. Older. Older. Okay. What is the irregular for for well? Better. 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 Good. Okay. Well. Huh? Better. Well. Better. If you see, those are called irregular verbs. 
I mean, irregular adjectives because they change completely. The spelling are different. Teacher. Yes. Uh, when say intelligent. Much. What's no, the uh, what's the what's the the comparative for much? More and most. More. Most. Thank you. More. Okay, David, you said uh, intelligent. Uh, smart. Intelligent no. is more intelligent. Okay. Yeah, that is a long adjective. Intelligent, more intelligent. That's what you say. Guys, is that clear or not clear? It's clear. Is, is it clear? Yes. Okay. When you say smart. Smart, smarter. Okay. Bad is worse. Bad words. Okay. Questions. Dos minutos para preguntas relacionadas a la clase o alguna duda que tenga. Ya son las nueve y tengo que dejarlos ir, pero les voy a dar dos minutos. Samuel primero. Sí. Ok, con el more. Uh -huh. eh, muchas veces en otras oraciones utilizar la palabra most. Y viene dando lo mismo con more. ¿Cómo, cómo lo vamos a utilizar? Ah, lo que pasa es que most todavía no hemos llegado allí. Recordad que está el adjetivo normal, el comparativo y el superlativo. El que tú hablaste es el superlativo. Eso no lo hemos visto todavía. Tal vez más adelante. Solo recordarles algo que el comparativo se usa solamente para comparar tu animal, perdón, dos animales, dos personas, dos objetos, dos países, solo dos, nada más. ¿Sí? Y el que tú mencionaste es el superlativo. Eso nos sirve para, para sacar de un grupo el mejor. Por ejemplo, por eso dicen... Eh, Messi is the best soccer player porque tenemos muchos jugadores de, 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 de balón pie pero solo hay uno de todo el grupo, de todo el mundo entonces ahí usamos el superlativo pero no nos vamos a meter en eso porque se van a confundir y no es el tema que hemos visto hemos visto el comparativo entonces solo es para comparar dos personas, dos animales dos objetos dos países comparativo ¿Está claro? David, tu pregunta y la última es de Silvia y de Alexandra. Ok, teacher, mi pregunta no es tanto con respecto a la clase, sino, eh, eh, bueno, al curso. Es, uh -huh. Estábamos viendo de que ahora mandaron unas notas. Sí. Bueno, prácticamente yo era uno de los que hacía falta ahí, uh -huh. pero él, al, él, a la misma vez me mandaron un PDF que tengo que llenar nuevamente para la otra, el otro módulo. Vaya, o sea es... Que, uh -huh. ¿Sí? O, o sea que aquí terminamos un módulo y avanzamos al otro. Eh, no, eh, faltan dos semanas. Pero ese tipo de preguntas, porque de tipo, cosas de administración, sí, yo estoy, ah, okay. no manejo. Honest, honestamente, no podría responderte. Mejor consultarlo okay, vale, en el vale. chat y ahí te van a aclarar tus dudas. Silvia. Perfecto. ¿Tendremos clase mañana? Mañana es viernes, no, de lunes a jueves. Ah, por cierto, gracias Silvia, te agradezco infinito. Sí, gracias por preguntar eso. El, el lunes, corríjame si estoy equivocado, el lunes es primero de mayo. Fin de largo. No hay clase. Entonces la clase va, va a iniciar de martes a viernes. El otro viernes sí va a haber clase porque hay que cubrir, hay que cubrir cuatro clases en la semana. ¿Sí? Lo mismo va a pasar sí. con el 10 de mayo. Vamos a empezar clase 8, 9, 10 no va a haber clase, 11 y 12 sí. ¿Sí? Ok. Eh, la última pregunta y los dejo ir, Alexandra. Uh, no es una pregunta, más bien solo uh, dar en lo que preguntaba o lo men o mencionaba más bien el compañero Samuel que serían, eh, bueno, estamos hablando sobre los adjetivos, que es una categoría gramatical que expresa una cualidad 
o, o me ayuda a describir un sustantivo. Uh -huh. Y este, estamos, bueno, él hacía la pregunta con, mmm, creo que era most, most. Uh -huh. um, sería, digamos, hacer referencia, hacer lo sería, el, los adjetivos muestran un grado, eh, significa la intensidad con la que se informa la cualidad que se está mencionando. Y ya me, también usted decía, explicaba ¿verdad? que um, pueden estar eh, comparando o destacando, um, dando realce a una cierta cualidad, ¿verdad? En, um, sobre otra. Eh, así, en resumidas palabras, no tan técnicas, el comparativo, tú comparas dos personas, dos animales, dos cosas. El superlativo, digamos que estos son Cuatro, cuatro hermanos. Los cuatro son inteligentes, pero hay un, uno de los cuatro que es el más inteligente. Entonces vas a decir the most intelligent. Uh -huh. Uno de los cuatro. Pero eso sí, lo vamos a ver más después. Sí. Ok. Si no han cenado, buen provecho. Los dejo hasta acá. And see you on Tuesday. Lunes no hay clase ni, ni mañana. Ok. Goodbye. Have a nice okay. weekend. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Y toma, no manejen. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>